What's up, Clear Springs High School? It's your boy Omar right here. And hey, Clear Springs, this is Tucson. Where's Omari? Oh, he's in Jamaica studying his rubies, man. Oh, he found the diamonds, man. No, he didn't find the diamonds. He's in there studying his tax, science, and math tests. That's right. Math tax is coming up. And we all know this is a very important test to take. And our teachers have been teaching us a very important test-taking strategy. That strategy is rubies. Rubies stand for read and reread, underline, bracket and box, identify the question, eliminate wrong answers, and select the best answer. So Omar and I hit up the hallways and classrooms of Clear Springs to see if our students know what rubies are. Why don't y'all check it out? What are rubies? Come on, hurry, hurry! Sorry, it's incorrect. Can try it again? What are rubies? Get ready to turn those clankers into scrap metal! Sorry. What are rubies? Uh, what are rubies? Some diamond looking thing you see in the video games and stuff? <laughs> Donnie, what are rubies? Indian money. <laughs> Do you know what rubies are? Like the jewel or the type of money? Okay, can you go into a little more detail about that? A ruby is a maroon, I want to say, or a different colored diamond or rock that has been cut precise to where you want it and you can wear it I guess. What are rubies? Rubies? Rubies. Like the tax rubies? He actually got it right. Rubies? What are rubies? Oh that's the um, that's the same thing we have for tax. Oh he got it right he got it right. Now I, I don't know what the acronym stands for but it's for uh, tax. It's like would've... read, understand, no it's a... Uh... <laughs> Remember Ruby stand for read and reread. Underline, bracket and box, identify the question, eliminate wrong answers, and select the best answer. Some of our spring students knew some of the letters. Let's see what they came up with. Can you remember what the R in Ruby stands for? The R in Ruby stands for read. And? Write. <laughs> R is reread. The U is to underline. And that's all I remember. That's all you remember. Well, Jake, since that's all you remember, you're going to fail tax. Think so? Can you try and read those back to me? Okay. R is reread. U is underline. B is highlight. That starts with an H. Now the B. In brackets and boxes. And the I. Um, intern. Intern. You got two of the four right. So what does the E stand for? Eliminate the wrong answers. And it stands for select the right answer. There you go. Okay, it's fun to poke fun at our friends, but let's get serious here. Rubies can make the difference between passing tax and going on to a successful life. Or failing tax and possibly spending the rest of your life in high school. Again, let's look at the correct use of rubies during a tax test. First, when you see a problem, R is read and reread. Let that sink into your brain. Next, U. Underline key points of the question. Be like CSI. Look for clues that may help you find the right answer. B is bracket. Draw brackets around separate ideas so you can focus on one thing at a time. I is identify the question. Now that you've read, reread, underlined and bracketed in box, you can now identify what the question is really asking you. Which takes us to E. Eliminate wrong answers. First, find the obvious wrong answers and eliminate them. That increases the chances that you'll get the right answer. And wrap it up with S. Select the best answer. By now, you're on your way to exemplary. So to review, use rubies during text to help you find the correct answer. R. Read and reread. U. Underline. B. Bracket. I. Identify the question. E. Eliminate wrong answers. And S. Select the best answer. Hey, hey guys. What are rubies? She's, she's got the rubies inside her body, man. Oh my gosh. We be testing, we no stressing, what nobody wanna see. See me go so then, man check these rhymes, man they sick, man, man Omar's in Jamaica eating chicken.